guess this is pretty special. We have Big Sugar in studio right now with us here in the Eagle Studios. And well, thanks guys for coming in. I want to welcome you to Swift Current. All right, no, our pleasure. You guys are on tour right now. You Prince Albert last night, New York Theatre here in Swift tonight, and then you're in Medicine Hat tomorrow. It sounds like it's a pretty busy tour, isn't it? Uh, yeah, two solid months of it, yeah, all the way across Canada. Awesome. I'm, I'm going to kick things off with one of the most widely asked questions. And by that, I mean, how exactly did the band get started? Like, how did everything come together? Uh, this band actually got, uh, you know, when we made our acoustic record last year, we made a new record called Yard Style. And I took the five core members of Big Sugar and we added to that. We got a dozen people in the studio uh, to make the record. And we're on tour with a group of eight. And everyone who's in the band now has has been a part of our musical family in some form or another over the years haven't always toured with us but we've all played in bands together in various you know configurations wicked and well i just gotta ask what was the biggest influence at the starting of big sugar in the beginning of it all the biggest if there was influence i would say that just the musical environment that that we started out in you know i, I came from playing pretty traditional blues and jazz and I was suddenly thrown into an environment where I was hearing reggae music every day and you know seeing and experiencing a lot of West Indian culture in Toronto um, hearing reggae bands playing in the Caravana parades and things like that playing calypso music and, and ska and mento and all these different kinds of music so it really uh, really opened my mind to a, a lot of different styles and Big Sugar came out of that Wicked and well, I've listened to the album over and over again, Yard Styles, I'm just right. talking of. And, well, first of all, great job on that. Thank you. And secondly, it really reminds me of kind of a reggae jam session. How much fun was it to make this album? <laughs> Does it sound like it was fun? Because it really was. It, it sounds yeah. like it was a complete blast. You gotta to see make. the video footage. <laughs> yeah. Then you know how fun it was. <laughs> well, that's awesome. And, well, I guess over the years of playing rock and roll and reggae and traveling all over the place, what's your favorite part about all of it? Uh, really, the, the time we spend on stage playing music is, is the greatest joy that we get. It's not even about money at that point, you know, it, it's, it's not a career thing. When you walk on stage with your brothers like this and you just start to communicate musically, it's a joyful thing, you know, it really makes everything worthwhile. Or I guess jam into a small room with a whole bunch of instruments. <laughs> yeah, even even if the radio station visits, I mean, that, that that's... Part of what inspired us to do Yard Style in the first place, because even on the electric tours when we go to radio stations, we're not going to bring a bunch of electric guitars and things in the studio. So we just grab whatever instruments we had in our hands, like a banjo and a harmonica and some bongo drums, whatever you can grab a hold of. It's so much fun doing this, and you feel this really great open kind of communication between the musicians when you play this quietly. I thought, man, wouldn't it be fun just to do a whole tour of this? So, here we are. And from what I've heard, the tour's been pretty good so far. And hopefully it's the same tonight, correct? I believe the show is sold out. Yeah, well, that's what I heard. So, should be good. Well, if you guys want to kick off with the music, that would be great. All right, how about we play tune for you? All right, thanks. Let's turn the lights on. Music. <coughs>
Awesome guys, you may not know this, but that's actually one song that we play quite a lot here on the Eagle 94 one, and I normally throw it in every now and then. Alright guys, so that sounded great, and well, I don't have a lot to say. And well, I'll tell you something that's, uh, that's really important to say uh, about this Big Sugar Tour, uh, and we've been spreading this word all over Canada, uh, that we have teamed up with World Vision, and we are looking to get uh, our fans to join with us and sponsor some children in a small village in Ethiopia called Jarso, Ethiopia. World Vision's helping us out with this. Uh, and in every town, we're getting a handful of kids sponsored. At every show, uh, our fans are picking up the photographs of the kids in the village in Ethiopia. And we just want to have enough sponsorship that we can send them to school, because right now the kids don't go to school in that village. It's just one little thing in one little place. And so far, we're seeing it all come true. We've got more than half the kids sponsored so far. So that's a really important part of the focus of our tour. Awesome. Well, that is really good of you guys to do. Thank you for that. And our fans, too. Yeah. Our fans are really, Definitely. Uh, really stepping up on this one. Yeah, well, without no further ado, shall we get more good music going? You want another song? Yeah, we yeah, do. Well. Uh, let me just make those. Uh, Thank you. 
awesome. Once again, we have Big Sugar here live in the Eagle 94 One Studios right now as we speak. Once again, thank you guys for coming in. This is really great right now. So I just want to ask, you guys have quite the track record. The band started in 88, correct? Yeah, we started uh, in Toronto. I had a little trio playing jazz and blues and calling it Big Sugar started about 1988. And, well, I guess 88, you have nine albums since, mm -hmm. right? That's quite a lot of work. <laughs> Is there one it thing? never felt like work. Well, I guess. You know, we just, we're, we're musicians. We, we'll keep making music, and we've been fortunate enough to be able to, uh, to record that music and put it out and share it with people and tour all these, all these years. Yeah, it didn't feel like work. There. That's a perfect answer, as far as I'm concerned. Like Is, I do like that. Is there one thing I that... just made that up. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I thought my head was like, oh my God, what am I going to say? What am I going to say? <laughs> Is there one thing that's kept the band going all these years? Oh yeah, man, like really, strictly just music. That's, that's the great unifying factor. Because if you look around this room, I know this is radio and everything, but if you could look around this room, you see a bunch of very different individuals, all from different backgrounds. We don't look the same. We're not the same age. We weren't born in the same country. We didn't, you know, come out of high school jamming in the garage together. It's not that kind of band, you know. So our, our common ancestry, if you will, is is music. So that's that's what keeps it going. Yeah. Well, because we don't even really like each other. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, they say music makes the world go around. So. Uh, Oh, actually, there was the other M word, but, you know, we'll, 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 we'll keep working on it with music. <laughs> All right. Well, speaking of music, you guys got anything more for me? Leo, you want another one? Hey, how about a new one? Yeah, so All right. Rocking. Here we go. We'll play a uh, song that's on the new record, Yard Style. We'll call this one the Freedom Train. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
classic ending to well, what everyone wants to hear at the end of the song. It's Big Sugar once again here on the Eagle 941 Swift Currents Rock Radio, keeping you entertained on this Thursday afternoon. And we're having a pretty good time in here, aren't we? Pretty good. At least, at least I am. I'm enjoying this music, guys. This is it's kind of cool to stand here. We have everyone in the building, I'm pretty sure, standing outside oh, looking at the All right. <laughs> You guys are probably used to that. It's kind of putting more pressure on me personally. <laughs> well, we're looking forward to seeing uh, seeing all you folks at the show tonight. That's tonight at the Lyric Theater. Theater. What, what time does the show start exactly? Eight thirty. Eight thirty. Eight thirty. Yeah. And there's no opening act, so make sure you get there early. There is no opening act. It's an evening with us. We do two uh, two sets with a little intermission, so you can mix and mingle, and uh, we've got lots of. Old songs, new songs, lots of nice surprises for you. Awesome. Well, uh, Mike, our station manager, was at the show in Regina. Correct, Mike? Yeah. Regina? And he said that it was quite the show, actually. Sun Monday, we were at the hockey game, and he wouldn't stop talking about it the entire hockey game. <laughs> <laughs> so, if that's any uh, consolation for tonight. Now I'm giving you a break from your hockey-based entertainment. As well. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, we'll see you all there. Thanks for having us. All right, thanks, guys. Have, have a good day. Thank you. I love the dentist here.